volume 2, book 24, number 499, narrated by Aisha. A lady along with her two daughters came to me asking for some arms, but she found nothing with me except one date, which I gave to her, and she divided between her two daughters, but the mother did not eat anything herself, and then she got up and went away. Then the prophet, peace be upon him, came in, and I informed him about this story. He said, whoever is put to trial by these daughters, and he or she treats them generously with benevolence, then these daughters will act as a shield for him from hellfire. It's another kind of charitable story, huh? Oh, yes, Master. And the moral we can learn from it. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Meaning, if you will selflessly serve others, you will be shielded from hellfire. Right. Mm. Yes. Because those persons who you are benevolent to, they will shield you. They will pray for you, for example, yeah? They will think good of you and do all things to make you comfortable in this life, you know, by prayers and also in heaven so that you don't have to go to hell. It's just another lesson of selflessness. Yes. Mm. Of charitableness, of benevolence. Yes, yes master. master. That you always need to consider others before yourself. Yes. If you have no other choice. Like this woman, she begs for arms, but she has only one date. Mm -hmm. oh. And even then, she didn't eat. She gave it to her two daughters instead. Mm. Yes. So this is a kind of a selfless sacrifice. Oh, yes, yes master. master. As I told you many times, also before, whenever I try to do something good for others, oh, I benefited <laughs> without knowing, without expecting it in advance or without knowing that it will come out also good for me. Oh. Yeah, and sometimes just good for me and those others didn't need. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even though in the beginning I thought they would need it, that's why I do this to that. For example, even for my dog, people yes. later it turns out they didn't need, but it was just exactly good for me. Oh. Without me even planning it. Mm. Yeah, I did not plan that before. I did this and that just for dog people, comfort. And then it turns out that it was good for me, beneficial to me. Oh, yes, yes. Either security wise or comfort wise or uh, any other thing, or even spiritually. Many times before I went out to pick the dog people. Pool. Yeah, mm -hmm. master. And then my spiritual level went up oh. long, long time ago, many decades ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also, uh, sometimes I just went and cleaned people, the people who live in the ashram. Yes, master. At the time, I had quite a few residents, and they did not clean their bathroom and toilet. I went quietly and cleaned all of them. Yes. Mm. And my spiritual level just went up too. Yeah. Oh. And it's very obvious to me. Oh. Mm. Not that I knew about it. Not that I thought about it or planned for that. Mm. Yeah. You can feel the spiritual level has gone up, just gone up, very obvious, very clear. Oh. Wow. Many times. It's just an example, okay? Yes, Just an example. I did not want to scold them or anything. I just went and cleaned it for them because it's so bad, so filthy. Mm. The bathroom and all that, they did not clean well, the men. Mm. You are men, you know what men are. I hope you clean yours, okay? Yes, yes, we do. That was long, long time ago. And also, like one time, I went on a hunger retreat just to pray for people who are in a hungry situation. And then my spiritual level also went up. I could feel it. At that time, I was not as high level, but I could feel it go all the way up my spine, you know, go up. It felt very clearly. Different chakra open, pong, 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 pong. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it went from one chakra to another so quickly. If not, I probably wouldn't have enough power now, you know, to go to... I mean, if it didn't all open and easily, I wouldn't have been able to jump to the next level or go to visit another more spiritually valuable outlet. Yes, yes. 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 Nowadays, it's still like that. Different uh, spiritual levels or outlets. Yes. Yes. You cannot just jump from one to high heaven. You have to go step by step also. And even if you know one spiritual outlet, you have to go there first, even though it's lower. Because if you don't go there, you cannot go to a higher one later. Just like the steps, you know.